All right, we seem to be live. So I'm Koston, and I'm here to play Metal Slug on the original Neo Geo MVS arcade hardware. And I'm attempting to get uh, one credit clear, but that seems unlikely, unfortunately. And um, the time starts as soon as the guy hits the ground. This is a traditional SDA timing. So as soon as I gain control, which is now. So let's go. Right. So Metal Slug is a quite famous arcade run and gun game from 96. In similar vein to Contra. Uh, there's very little depth to the game besides just uh, going right and uh, murdering bad guys. But with regards to the speed game itself, there are a few things you need to know. Um, one is the inherent randomness of the run. That, um, the enemies always tend to do something different than they did before. And uh, it's, it creates a whole lot of variance in the run. Then there are some uh, spawn rules in involved and in certain places the screen stops scrolling until I've uh, killed all the spawns in that section and depending on which side of the screen I'm currently at uh, that defines where the spawns will come from and we're arriving at such a section now This is another scripted section, and especially with Medals Like One, there are a lot of places where enemies don't take damage until a certain point, which is usually pretty arbitrary. Okay, now I've managed to get the shotgun, which is probably the best gun in the game. Oh, and uh, I forgot to mention about the tanks. There's a funny rule in, in the first Metal Slug about tanks. That, uh, if you don't destroy the tank with a grenade, like the last hit on the tank needs to be a grenade, otherwise the tank will go through a lengthy animation of getting destroyed and the driver will jump out of the tank and uh, that wastes a ton of time. So I will try to ensure that all tanks will explode immediately by uh, using a grenade. Okay, this is bad. This is another section where uh, I'm supposed to kill everything on screen, and I did a very bad job at that. Now yeah. the screen finally scrolls. Uh, hopefully I still have enough ammunition to take down the final boss quickly, and the last boss of the stage. No. I think I missed some of my grenades. Uh, this is pretty common. Whenever you make a mistake in Metal Slug, like it basically translates into having to mash Here is a section I'm, I'm deliberately sa saving exactly one bomb, or I think accidentally I saved even two. But uh, there's a 
upcoming section where I need exactly one bomb to make it clear very quickly. And uh, some people deliberately kill themselves on that section to refill their bombs. And it is actually faster to do that way. But uh, I think death abuse is just not very nice. So I uh, try to limit my deaths to only accidental ones. And here I want a bomb so that I can pick up more bombs and a shotgun very quickly. And here I did excellent job at clearing the tanks nice. without having to wait any of them. Yeah, this grid has a lot of enemies, like, not casually. You can turn down the volume a bit on the TV, please. Yeah. Thanks. This section is a particularly random grinder. Trying to get rid of the tanks and the soldiers as fast as possible, and again, the screen won't scroll until you're done with them all. Main thing is that I just uh, get to the last boss with the tank, because uh, the final boss, uh, or the tank, allows me to uh, fire multiple bombs simultaneously, which allows me to take the final boss down really quickly. It will take quite a long time without the tank. Is there like a lot of like a lag reduction strats in this? Because there's a lot of lag coming. Like, if yes. Um, yeah. It's especially evident if you take a look at the latest runs in the emulator categories, which uh, use emulators that remove all the in-game lag. And they have quite a bit of uh, different strats there. And I have put a lot of effort and time into comparing all the strats that other people use, and uh, I've found that uh, these are our fastest. Oh my god, no. That's close. No, this... Oh, okay, I managed to avoid death somehow. Uh, I shouldn't be talking so much when I'm playing, but... Uh, <laughs> let's go. Can't, can't help that it. it's a marathon. Yeah, let's go. The game... Get you... There... What you see, what happens. Oh, uh, okay. Ooh. I was out of bombs. No, no biggie, no biggie. You got the shotgun now. Yeah. Okay, I managed to make it through somehow. GG. The next beginning of the next stage has some pretty precise jumping. I hope I will make it through. Okay, I'm I seem to have made it through without problem. It's a... If I miss some of the jumps, like uh, get too far or jump too early, uh, that, then... Uh, yeah, I was not supposed to jump there anymore. We're good, we're good. This is a real problem now. Um, I wonder if I should... No, I'm still not gonna kill myself on purpose. This boss takes a lot of damage. Yes, it takes, and I'm supposed to have like 30 bombs to take it down instantly, but... Uh, unfortunately, this is probably gonna spend like a minute extra. I could just kill myself over and over and uh, to get like refills on the bombs, yeah. but I think that's just uh, really cheesy. And I, because it's an arcade game, basically, I, I think that the one credit clear is just as important as uh, getting a good time. Yeah. 
Okay. It went really smoothly, anyway. Yeah, now for the final stage, which is by far and wide the hardest. The breach especially is a, a pure RNG festival. So I am guessing that the one CC is gone, since I don't have any more extra lives. This section, if I manage to kill all of those guys, it scrolls early. Otherwise, there will be lots and lots more uh, enemies coming down. I hope you know. Let's go. That was really unlucky. Usually, those guys don't don't shoot nearly as fast as that. As you can see, there's a lot of lag in the room when the in the yes. screen. And a lot of action as well. Yep. Oh my god. <laughs> it's scary. Yes, it's very scary. <laughs> nice. Oh, wow, that's actually pretty good. Yeah, how the heck did you survive? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now that I made it through with the shotgun, I will actually be able to execute some faster strats on the next section. Because the shotgun is really powerful. Oh my god, this is another problem. Uh, the, the machine gun pretty randomly hits or doesn't hit the enemies that yeah. come down parachuting. And this time the randomness was definitely not on my side. Does it have something to do with the lag there is it in the screen? No, that's that's not lag okay, dependent. Okay. It's just that the bullets have so wide gaps okay. that uh, it's just really, really difficult to reliably uh, reliably terminate all of them. Now, since I know beforehand that the front uh, one would have given me heavy machine gun, I just drop him into the water. <laughs> and now, before picking the another shotgun, which I saved earlier, I will use all the bullets on the previous one, because uh, a refill to the existing gun will only give you half, half of uh, the magazine. And now with the final boss. Okay. Ah, uh, this is uh, kind of depressing. Uh, the boss is giving me a really, really, really bad pattern. I would like for it to come down like that. Nice. Okay. And time ending when the screen flashes white. Now. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so that was Metal Slug 1. That's the first entry in a series of really great games. But uh, my personal favorite is Metal Slug 2 coming up next after a small break. And unfortunately, I wasted one continued. Yes, on se to pitaako? Joo, semmonen pari minuuttia. Just a few minutes break and then I'll just uh, switch cards.